Following the March 28th Abuja Kaduna train attack in which about 61 persons were abducted, some of the kidnapped have been released in batches after unverified reports of ransom paid to the terrorists by their families to secure their freedom while the others remain in the custody of the terrorists. While the federal government is on the move to rescue the victims safely, a viral video over the weekend of the victims being manhandled by their terrorists, by their abductors, is giving the whole issue another dimension. In the 11-minute video, the male hostages were beaten mercilessly, forcing them to make passionate plea on government to rescue them. Disturbing as it is, relatives of the remaining victims picketed the Ministry of Transport to protest the continual stay of their loved ones in captivity. Now, on Nigeria today, we seek answers to some gray areas as we dig into finding solution to this disturbing trend. Welcome to the program. I am Lydia Odijochi. I'll be right back. Joining me in the studio to discuss this disturbing trend is a relative of one of the victims. Right here with me, Dr. Kafilat Abdulaziz. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. Indeed, we really appreciate your coming. But before we go into the discussion, let's see what transpired at the Ministry of Transport earlier today. Oyinaya Kaluoka will guide us. Emotions filled the air. They came in their numbers as early as 6 o'clock in the morning and blocked the entrance to the premises of the Ministry of Transportation. The placard says it all. Is it onto one person there? Please, please. They are undergoing tremendous uh, difficulty uh, to the extent now that uh, they have been threatened, their lives have been threatened. I know a father who is 92 years old, he has a son in captivity. He has been sick for over two weeks now. And government should declare an emergency on that issue. Because anything can happen. We don't know. We are scared to death. We don't. And by the grace the of the Minister of Transportation, Mahazo Jaji assured the relatives of federal government's efforts on quick release of their loved ones. Inshallah, we will fight it together by the grace of God until everybody is reunited with their family. What I want you to do for me, please, for the sake of Allah, pray for us. We will, sir. We have been doing it. Railway corporation is in touch with the families of the staff who are in captivity. Even up to last week, the MT Railway Corporation still briefed me on the conversation that they are having with the families. On the 28th of March 2022, the Abuja to train was attacked, with about eight passengers killed and some kidnapped. Very pathetic. Now, uh, hopefully, we hope to join via Zoom the uh, nego uh, negotiator, Malam Tukur Mamu. Hopefully, he should join us very soon. But right now, let me, let me talk to Dr. Kafilat Abdulaziz. It's, it's actually, it's, uh, it's something that this issue touches every Nigerian. There's no Nigerian who is not moved by this development now. When you saw that video, that viral video, what was your reaction? Wow. I started crying. Of course. Of course. I started crying. At first, I couldn't look. But later on, I said, no, let me even check. I want to see my brother. I saw men crying. And I said, no, I just want to see. Let me see my brother. I, it's, it was a bad, uh, I can't explain. 
-hmm. It was really painful. I cried. I cried. I just called my sister. I said, have you seen this? Don't let mom see it. Mm -hmm. Don't let his wife see it. Because the wife is heavily pregnant. I said, don't let them see this. I couldn't sleep. I saw it around 11, around almost 12, 12 that night. So I didn't sleep throughout. You can see it's not even showing in my eyes. It shows. Up to now, I've not even had a good sleep. It shows. Yeah. It shows on you, honestly. So Now, as a nation, we seem to be at, at, a, at a crossroads. Now, the government does not want to negotiate or do any negotiations that would involve ransom. Yet the terrorists are insisting on collecting ransom. What do you think the government should do at this point? Well, at this point, as every Nigerian can see, hands are not equal. Mm. It's not every one of us that have 100 million naira. In fact, some of us have not even been able to even raise a million naira, not to talk of 100 million naira. Some have not even been able to even raise 100,000 naira, oh I must God. tell you this. Some are even just, they are, their breadwinners are there. Mm. So they are just, some people are just helping them with food. They are totally helpless. So as far as I'm concerned, I would love to tell her to beg the government, plead, that they should just do something. I don't know. If it's the ransom they need, we don't have it. Those that I have have paid. Mm. We that don't have, they should come to our head and just help. If what they need is the ransom, they should go ahead and do it. If it's something else, they should do it. But they have to do it fast. Because it's not only our relatives that are in the bush that are dying right now, we are also dying. No. Oh. Yes. The psychological trauma I can only everyone. imagine. Yeah. Okay, um, I think uh, we have uh, established a co connection with uh, Malam Tukur Mamu, a negotiator. If you can hear me, welcome to Nigeria today. Welcome, Mr. Can you hear me? I can hear you very well. All right. Welcome to the program. Welcome to Nigeria today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, all, all Nigerians are really saddened by that video that went viral of the manhandling of the, the, the victims. Now, what would you say gave rise to this new dimension of hostility towards the victims? Okay, uh, good day Nigerians. Uh, the development uh, we saw yesterday, which is very sad, unfortunate, but I think it's preventable. Uh, I think uh, it, is, it, is, it is not unexpected, uh, especially going by uh, the previous threats of, the, uh, of, of these abductors and how uh, the engagement, you know, uh, was uh, stilled uh, during the period. And I think uh, if you go back to what uh, really happened and, you know, the, the condition these innocent, innocent victims were subjected to, uh, and then uh, the duration of the time uh, they, they spent without any progress regarding efforts to rescue them, and then the mindset of this uh, terrorist group, uh, what we see yesterday very unfortunate but, but it is very much expected and that is why i have been alerting the nation you know uh, that this is an emergency and you know government at the highest level is supposed to treat this matter with utmost emergency uh, lives of innocent people are involved in this and it is being threatened uh, and this is not something that any responsible government uh, should take it uh, lightly uh, and then, and then the second issue is that you know uh, this negotiation aspect, uh, as you said, uh, I have been engaged in that uh, for now. But, but, but since the success of the last seven, uh, for, for for reasons I have enumerated, I have I have been engaged myself honestly until when there is a new approach by the government, you know, to to squarely address this issue, especially in the interest of these innocent and helpless victims. They are still staying with you. There, there have been claims that the hideout of these terrorists are not known. But it seems that this is not completely true. What is your view? What would be your view on this? How would you react to this? Uh, please, can you repeat your question again? Yes, I said there have been claims that the hideout or where these terrorists are located is not known. But 
obviously it seems not to be true. How would you react to this? You know, you know, you know as, 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 as a country, we, we, ha we have a larger problem to deal with. We have a larger problem to deal with. Even if, for example, today, we have succeeded in rescuing all these trained uh, victims. I can tell you the magnitude of this crisis is more than what many in government think it is. Because uh, we are not dealing with uh, ordinary planning bandits. We are dealing with uh, uh, renowned terrorist groups, uh, Boko Haram from Iswap. And then, you know, uh, before now, uh, they, they have been restricted to the, to, to the Northwest. But unfortunately for us as a nation, you know, uh, this group uh, freely relocated from the northeast now to the uh, northwest. And where they are now, it is so strategic that I think they can operate freely. They are presently in the forest of Niger State. The forest of Niger State is so large and vast. I think twice the size of Lagos State. I think so, if I'm not mistaken. So, and... Um, the unfortunate thing and the frightening development is that this terrorist group have now assimilated, you know, with, 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 with the Fulani bandit because they, they know the terrain very well. Uh, if you analyze uh, the unfortunate video of yesterday, uh, those that are beating these victims are, 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 are Fulani boys. Well, the ones that are handling the, the, the guns and, and, and giving out threats are, are, are the real Boko Haram elements. And, 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 and these are people that have so far demonstrated their capacity to, to inflict harm, to, to, to cause so much damage to the nation. They are, as I alerted initially, I was the first person that alerted the nation that the people that attacked this train are the same people that went to Kujia prison and, and, and secured the release of their people. So if they have the capacity to, to, to go to as far as Abuja, uh, you know, freely, you know, operate and then succeed in securing uh, you know, dozens of their victims. I think uh, government need to change approach and then uh, address this issue in, in, in a manner that will, you know, be of benefit, especially to, 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 to the vulnerable citizens, you know, to, 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 to citizens that can be attacked at, 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 at any time. Uh, the duration is so much. This is uh, over four months now. And, you know, for, 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 for anything officially that will be done either militarily or any uh, any other option i think it is getting too late especially if you look at the mindset of these people and what they are capable of doing i don't take what they are doing based on experiences you know uh, lightly because because if for example we should wait as a nation until after they have started unfortunately i god forbid killing these innocent people I think I think I think it will be very very unfortunate for for, for, for us, and then and then certainly certainly uh, those that are responsible should have to take responsibility. So in 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 the absence of any military solution to this kind of crisis at the moment, I think the best way government should do to secure the release of these innocent victims is is to engage them, because now uh, the 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 development is 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 even more scary, because. You, we, we are in a situation now whereby families of the victims, you know, are, are left to freely negotiate and discuss the, the release of their loved ones. So the implication is that what, what the government wants to avoid is, is happening because when you allow family members to negotiate the release of their loved ones, definitely ransom will be involved. Definitely money will be paid. So when, but, but, but for example, it, Break now. We'll be back to continue with this conversation. Don't go away. This is NTA News 24 broadcasting from Abuja. You can watch us anywhere, anytime on the following platforms. Start times, channel 101, Greek TV, channel 703, GS TV, channel 419, and Go TV, channel 46. For more information, log on to our website, www.nta.ng, or join us on our social media handles, Facebook at NTA News 24. For comments, suggestions and inquiries, send an email to news24 at nta.gov.ng or call us on the following numbers. NTA News 24. News and more news.
Welcome back. You're on to Nigeria today and you're still uh, watching uh, uh, the continuation of what we earlier started, reports on uh, the Kaduna Abuja updates of the train abduction. Now, Dr. Kafilat, since this unfortunate incident on the 28th of March, has there been any communication or contact with your brother? Well, not um, when it happened. After three days, we received a call from, from them okay. where he spoke with us and they collected the phone from him and told us that he's with them and they will get back to us. And since then, we've not talked to him up to now. Apart from the videos, the pictures and mm -hmm. all those disturbing things the that we've been seeing on social media. That's um, Now, as a relative, what is what is foremost on your mind now? I want my brother back. Of course. Of course. Yes. Of course. Let me come back to you, uh, sir. Now, with this, with this new dimension of negotiation, do you have any information on this? Who is what? With this new dimension of negotiations, do you have any information to update Nigerians? Yes, certainly I have. Certainly I have. I think, I think, I think the information is that uh, government should look at uh, this issue holistically uh, because uh, the, the threat is now more visible and the threat is now more real. And then a situation whereby, you know, uh, desperate family members, you know, uh, will be allowed to freely discuss uh, with, 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 with them and then negotiate the release of their loved ones by implication, by implication, and I can tell you, more than 80% of those that are still in the forest uh, are, are, are people that cannot even raise as, 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 as much as one million naira. So uh, those of them, very few that can afford, definitely can secure the release of their loved ones as soon as possible, because the window has been opened by, by the adopters. And, and then the, 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 the larger number, unfortunately, you know, uh, will, 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 will remain there perpetually. So, so I think government need to take control of this situation. They need to take control of this situation, and then they, they, they need to do something to ensure that you know the, the, uh, you know this this aspect of diplomacy that we explore and succeeded two times. You know they they, uh, they, they, they explore it in the interest of these people. So, so I, I think I think what what needs to be done immediately. You know, uh, government has the power. Government have the capacity to engage these people. We have done it before, we have succeeded in doing it, and, and, and these people, as I keep repeating, if you engage them sincerely, you will achieve results. If you engage them sincerely, you must achieve results. But the most important thing is that as a government, you know, we, we cannot have it all. We must be prepared to, to make painful decisions, especially now that lives of innocent people are involved. I want, to, I want to still ask you this, because I know Kafila is very emotional right now. Uh, I don't want to stress her too much. Now, still talking about the uh, crossroads, what should the relatives of these victims do? Any words for them? People like Dr. Kafila. You mean, you mean the victims of the military? Relatives. Okay, the relatives. Yes. No, I, I, can, I, I can tell you uh, most of the relatives are, are helpless. Most of the relatives are helpless because these are people that cannot even mostly afford to even uh, feed themselves very well. I can, I, I can confirm to you. So when you have a situation whereby you are even struggling to survive and, 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 and for example, these people are demanding as much as uh, 100 million naira per person. Then, then how, how, how do you expect to, to, to go about it? Where will you even start? That is why I used to even advise them that you people should not even waste your time to, 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 to sell properties and, and do all these things because these abductors are adamant in their request. And then the, the best way to handle this issue is, 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 is government. And, and when government comes in, I believe with the support of people like us, this matter can be resolved in a matter of three days, I can tell you. But, but, but in, the, in, the, in the absence of any support, you know, especially from those in position of authority, 
I can tell you this, this crisis will continue to linger. And then nobody can be certain about what will happen next. Because what we saw, what we saw is really very unfortunate and, and this thing demands immediate action. This is, uh, we cannot just condemn this action as mere propaganda by terrorists. Even if it is a propaganda, you know, these people, you know, if you go back to their own history, uh, you know, have, have this tendency to kill, have this tendency to do what, what, uh, whatever atrocities. You know, so so why 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 will we as a nation, for example, or as 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 as, as Nigerians or as the, the, the leadership, you know, allow this thing to deteriorate to to to, to a level that 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 will consume these innocent people? An opportunity has been created, as I keep repeating. The opportunity is that uh, you know we we have succeeded in reaching out to them, and 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 they, and, and if you engage them, they listen. So why can't we use that opportunity and then at least secure the release of these innocent victims and then and then see what will happen next? Okay. Even if, for example, we succeeded in doing that, government has invested so much in this uh, rail services. Okay. Billions of dollars. Yes. Now yes. it has been grounded over four months. How many billions have we have gone down? Okay. Uh, let me let me come in here. Um, you are still watching Nigeria today. Let me still say more. Reports say three victims of the abducted Abuja to Kadna train have been released today. The victims, two males and a female, were released by the bandits at a location inside the forest along the Abuja Kaduna Highway. From, from there, they were picked up by their relatives. With the release of the three victims, the number of those still in captivity remains 40. Now, Dr. Kafila, hearing that, how do you feel about that? Well, I was happy for them because we are all in this together. So and we have all become family. I was really happy for them. At the same time, sad for myself, mm. for my family and other family members that we have been together also that couldn't afford to do what they have done to them. So, that's how I feel. We're, we're, Nigerians are praying and we know that God answers prayers. Now, finally, let me come to you finally, very briefly, if you can answer this for us in a few seconds. How do we avoid further escalation of this situation? Quickly. Okay, the, the, the only way to avoid the escalation of this crisis, I think, is to is to engage these uh, people. Since, as I keep repeating, that these people listen when you talk to them, because a situation where by military power, uh, you, you know, will not yield the desired result or will not succeed in protecting lives and properties, I think the only option, you know, left for the government is to engage them. And I I, I, I have been given examples that in the Niger Delta today, for example, we have relative peace. The, the pipelines are safe. It is not the power of the military that succeeded in securing the pipelines. You know that there was a trust, and then and then these these militants, you know, are, are, are the ones now virtually guiding the pipe, pipelines. So so if government can explore, you know, a situation like that, whereby you know mediation and dialogue, you know, will 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 will, will come. I I believe certainly uh, with proper understanding, this issue can be addressed. And then you know, in in the northwest, in the in the entire north, for example, the the, the, nebo, the level of poverty is so endemic. Corruption is unprecedented. Unemployment is on, on, on the increase every day. And then the level of recruit now into terrorism is is even getting higher in the north today. With as low as thirty thousand naira, you can recruit a terrorist because of the level of out of school we, children. We, we so, know. so I think I think we need to go back to drawing board okay. to address these issues All as right. the government. So that, so we that know that the, um, the, the so government the government is doing all it can and Nigerians are praying. But prayers alone don't work. We have to act with prayers. Well that's it for the, this episode of Nigeria today, a very emotional one. And I must thank my guests at this point, Malam Tukur Mamu, a negotiator. Who joined us via Zoom. Thank you for joining us. And Dr. Khalifat Abdulaziz, thank you for your presence. We appreciate you. Thank you. We're praying with you. Thank you for coming.
And to our viewer back home, thank you so much for always tuning in. You can watch this and other episodes of the program at www.youtube.com slash ntnu 24 hub Thank you for watching. I'm Lydia Odijo. See you tomorrow, same time, same station. Goodbye.